Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the water regulator in your dishwasher, you will need to fully uninstall the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to turn off the power to the dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the two mounting screws, securing the lower access panel. Set the panel aside. Use channel lock pliers to loosen the elbow fitting, securing the water supply line to the inlet valve. Fully unthread the elbow fitting. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and unthread the two screws securing the dishwasher mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Rotate the front legs clockwise to lower the front. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, rotate the rear leg adjusting rod counterclockwise to lower the rear of the dishwasher. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. To tip the dishwasher back, you will probably need to detach the power supply cord from the junction box. To do this, unthread the screw to release the junction box cover. Note the orientation of the power wires and the grounding wire. Then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Have an assistant help you to lift up the front of the appliance and support it. Unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and cord from the junction box. Now tip the appliance back and rest it on the rear panel. Release the tab to detach the rear leg adjusting rod. Using pliers, squeeze the retaining clips to release the bottom panel. Disconnect the water regulator wire connector. Unthread the two mounting screws securing the regulator to the sump. Move the float switch out of the way. Use pliers to release the spring clamp securing the hose. You can now pull the old water regulator free of the sump and off of the hose. Prepare the new regulator for installation by transferring the two O-rings from the sump to the regulator ports. Attach the hose to the regulator, then align it with the sump and push it into place. Thread the two mounting screws. Secure the hose with the clamp. Connect the wire connector. Reposition the float switch. Align the bottom panel tabs with the slots in the base and snap the panel into place. Insert the bottom of the adjusting rod into the hole in the base 
and snap the upper portion in place. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. If necessary, support the front of the appliance. Fully position the power supply cord and strain relief in the junction box. Then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Remove the support. Join the black wires together, the white wires together, and the green grounding wires together, and secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the junction box, realign the cover and rethread the screw. Confirm that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall and the water supply line is positioned in the channel in the base. Now gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Extend the front leveling legs if necessary. Rotate the adjusting rod clockwise to extend the rear leg. Rethread the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Thread the water supply line elbow fitting onto the inlet valve port and tighten. Realign the lower access panel and rethread the screws to secure. Turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use.